tonight. The Scottish Government says it's met its time. Good evening and welcome to The Seven. The Scottish Government says it's met its target to vaccinate the over 80s for COVID. It says 93% of people over 80 in the community have been given the jab by yesterday. The other 7% includes people who said no or who couldn't be vaccinated for medical reasons. 786,427 people in Scotland have now had their first dose. Meanwhile, a further 48 COVID deaths have been registered, as well as 895 new cases. Here's our correspondent, Jamie McIver. We saw Jason Leach in that report and the National Clinical Director has told The Seventh he's not confident that the uptake of the vaccine among younger age groups will be as high as it was among the over 80s. He also said they're on track to meet the next target of reaching all over 70s by the 15th of February. Again, that, that Professor Jason Leach there. A look now at some of today's other stories. Ten people have died after a Covid outbreak associated with a care home in Fife. 20 Thousands of people have taken to the streets of Myanmar's main city, Yangon, to protest against this week's military coup. They're calling for the release of the elected leader Aung San Suu Kyi and others detained by the army. It seized power. The BBC's Southeast Asia correspondent Jonathan Head reports. <laughs> Let's look at the day's sport now. And Scotland have produced a huge shock on the first day of the Six Nations by beating England in a nail-biting match at Twickenham. It's their first win there since 1983. Our sport. Now, it's also been a busy day in football. Sports scene will have all the action here on BBC Scotland Channel at half past seven. So look away now if you don't want to see the scores. Smart. Now that's almost it from me, but remember Amy and David are here shortly with the edit. Here's what's coming up. That's the forecast for now. And that's it from me for now. There's more news in the 7 tomorrow at the same time. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday evening. Goodbye.